Hi everyone, this is Natalie Cody from Quincy High Library. Today I'm going to show you how to access the Britannica online database through the Thomas Crane Public Library website. To get there, go to thomascranelibrary.org. Once you're there, go to Research and then Databases. From here, you'll go to Encyclopedias. And your first option will be Britannica Online. From here, you can pick a level. So I'm going to start with young adults and Put in any search term that you want. From here, you get your articles. Now, this article that is shown is at a level two. And on the left, we have related resources for the article. You can either have other articles that are related to it. as well as websites. There's only one, but most of these will have a few, depending on whatever it is that you're searching. So back to the article. On the right-hand side, you can send the article, you can favorite it, print it, cite it, translate it, you can listen to it being read, or you can change the font size up or down. So if you wanna send this, you can email it or you can add it to one of your Google Classrooms. In order to do that, just click on it. And what will happen is you can choose the classroom that you want it to go to. And then you can either create an assignment, ask a question, make an announcement, or create material based on your article. Once you have signed into Britannica, you can mark it as a favorite. If you do mark it as a favorite without signing in, and you click out of where you are and try to go back in, your favorites will be gone. So if you want to create a list of favorites, make sure you sign into Britannica to do that. If not, just email them to yourself. Printing is self-explanatory. If you want to cite it, what happens is there's a pop-up and you can either select MLA, APA, Harvard, or Chicago. These are all up-to-date um, citation styles, so you don't have to worry if it is on the wrong version. Um, translate, you can translate this using Google Translate um, into any language that you like. You can also have it read to you and it'll highlight as it reads. So that's about it for this website. Um, if you have any questions about using Britannica or any of the other databases, let your librarian know. You can contact any one of us at any time. Thanks.